The big story in Europe this morning, investors are dumping Irish, Portuguese and Spanish bonds. It's pushing government borrowing costs even higher and it's the talk of the IMF World Bank meetings in Washington. Sarah Eisen is there and she had an exclusive interview with Europe's top economic official about the latest carnage in the bond market. Sarah. That would be Ollie Wren, Eric, and he said in his own diplomatic way to the Germans to pipe down. All this talk is not helpful. It drives panic in the bond markets, particularly referring to some comments by Germany's finance minister this week suggesting Greece may have to restructure its debt. Now, a year and a half ago, folks on Wall Street wouldn't recognize the name Ollie Wren. Now, he's the continent's top economic official. He's the point man for the European debt crisis. And when he speaks, markets move. And I found out yesterday that before he speaks, he's checking his BlackBerry to see what those European bonds are doing. Lately, they have been selling off hard the trigger with those comments about Greek restructuring. But I think it's important that uh, we will uh, all see the responsibility in this situation. and. Uh, uh, the constant uh, talk about uh, restructuring is not helping Europe uh, to overcome this crisis. Uh, it's not helping Greece uh, to overcome its uh, challenges. Not helping at all. More panic and carnage in the bond markets this morning. Greece, Ireland, Portuguese and Spanish bonds are falling. That pushes up the government borrowing costs, makes it very, very painful for these governments to borrow. Watch Spain in particular. We know how important and how big that economy is. It's the third day in a row those yields are higher. Ren is trying desperately to calm things down. Greece, uh, Ireland uh, and uh, Portugal have been the most vulnerable ones uh, of the euro area countries uh, and uh, their problems uh, have been now or soon will be ring fenced uh, and uh, thus uh, we contain any contagion effect uh, from these countries. Uh. Deirdre, traders aren't buying the ring fencing argument. More pain today in the bond market. Ratings agencies aren't buying it either. Moody's today, the latest to downgrade Ireland's credit rating, just giving investors another excuse to push the sell button and inflict pain.